Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Just four minutes after liftoff, SpaceX's Starship rocket has exploded. Oh, here's Justina to explain. Welcome to Space Explorer. I'm your host. Oh, wait, wait, here we have liftoff. Look at the power. Wait, why is it spinning out? Why are people clapping? Although it might not look like it, this wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Even just making it off the pad and to max Q is actually a really big step for a new rocket. It's so big. It's the most powerful one that's ever been launched. Yep, SpaceX's Starship is the biggest rocket in the world. The goal was to test the rocket, which didn't have anyone on board, in preparation for future human-crewed flights to the Moon, or even Mars. It was expected to make a 90-minute trip around Earth. But what went wrong exactly? Well, the Starship launch failed at what's called stage separation, which is where the Starship is supposed to separate mechanically from the booster and fly off. And that's why it kind of spun out instead. To make sure that it didn't end up somewhere that it shouldn't be, there was a, a controlled detonation to make sure that it would land in the ocean and then it will go and be retrieved later. But rather than seeing this colossal rocket being engulfed into flames as a failure, experts reckon it will only help speed up making the next one. That now they know what the problems are allows them to proceed rapidly to fix them. Sticking with the space theme, the first ever movie with scenes shot in space is preparing to screen in Russia. It's called The Challenge, and it partly takes place on the International Space Station. The film's about a surgeon who's sent to the ISS to save an injured cosmonaut. Actor Yulia Peresild and director Klim Shapenka went through four months of training before heading to space for 12 days of filming. Russia is the first country to do this, but the US is also working on a movie with Hollywood star Tom Cruise that will be filmed in space, so you might be seeing a lot more of the ISS on the big screen in the future. There's a lot of excitement kicking around after yesterday's total solar eclipse in Exmouth, WA. For 58 seconds, thousands of people were in darkness as they watched the sun, moon and earth align. Some cried. <laughs> Others jumped for joy. It was, it, you know, it's only a minute long, but it really felt like a long time because it was like you could see it and it was just beautiful and there's nothing else you can see which looks like that. And for scientists, it was a big deal. There's a lot of scientific value. 101 years ago in WA, there was a total solar eclipse and the measurements from there uh, proved uh, Einstein's uh, general theory of relativity. The Live Golf Tour tees off in Adelaide today. Kale went there to check it all out. Enough of that. I'm here at the Grange Golf Club in Adelaide for Australia's first ever live golf event. I'm actually a massive golf fan, so this might just be 90 seconds of me being really excited. Let's go. Live Golf is a professional golf tour that was started last year by former Aussie golfer Greg Norman, and it features some of the biggest names in the golfing world. Good luck out there, Brooksy. Do you think he heard me? Who are you most excited here to see? Um, Cam Smith. Cam Smith. Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith. Seeing Cam walk by right now is going to be pretty cool. Oh, here he is. <laughs> that was pretty exciting. Yeah. Okay, there's more than just Cam Smith. Here you'll see players like Dustin Johnson, Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kepka, Sergio Garcia. Do you want me to keep going? I could keep going. I could go all day. I, I've played golf before. I don't remember this part of it. More than 42,000 fans have bought tickets for the tournament here in Adelaide. And with more than $50 million worth of prize money up for grabs, it's the richest golf tournament in Aussie history. What are you most excited to actually see? Just to see what the state can put on for such a big event for the country and the sport, I guess. Uh, doing the mini golf pot putts. They've been pretty fun. Did you get a hole in one? Yes, I did get a hole in one. Up top. <laughs> Uh, hopefully see a hole in one and just watch everyone play. Um, it's just really big and there's a lot of people here and just seeing how the players react to that. Oh. That was so close. That's, that's heartbreaking. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.